All right, guys, welcome to part two of swimming. Oh, I meant landscape. Yeah. Haha, -ha, we can swim now. Woo, I'm a freaking dolphin. Look at me go. But seriously, uh, we got a pretty looking, an, uh, an empty looking landscape here. We got a nice looking lake, I, I admit that, but there's something missing, don't you agree? So click on your sculpt tool, and there's so much here. Let's do this. Let's make ourselves a land, land, land mass. So the lake will be the center of everything. And what we're going to do is we're going to make what are called surrounding cliffs. Since we have an end to our map, you might want to switch this up to six. There we go. So we're going to start right here. You're going to want a fairly big brush, so... Why don't we... Where's the brush? Ah, the brush settings were closed. That's a little too big. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Start with the corner. And we're just going to fill in the outside radius. Um, you might want to turn the brush fall off down a bit. That is up to you, of course. Having it on means you have rounder corners and it doesn't look like you're using a brush. And we're going to put our tool strength up to 3. And, you know, make it the best that you want to make it. Because remember, the cliff is already high. <laughs> so just keep going like this. If you want to build faster, just click, and we can deal with the details of it later. So just keep it going near the very edge. Because if we're in one little confined area, we are going to have to look over that edge. But if we block it off, all we're going to be doing is seeing uh, mountains for miles which are super nice to look at so let's make our brush a little bigger okay there we go we are going to be smoothing this out with the erosion tool making it look as nice as possible Come over this way. Make sure you get the back end up. Now this is going to look like the prettiest vista in the world, but it's going to look good enough for what you're trying to do. I'm just trying to make everything blend in. Get some mountains in there. It feels like I'm teaching art school again, but this time in a 3D program. Make sure the edges are a high mountains. The corresponding fall off. Okay, I'm not going to do it all the way around, but we're going to need to test this by going... There we go. Okay. All right, let's add some detail. So for this, we're going to be using the erosion tool. And the erosion tool will add some good depth to it. You might want to use a smaller brush depending on how much detail you want. And change this. Click slowly. I'll make things nice and rock like. And if you want to actually see the texture, just there you go. Let's add a different material to this so you're able to see the uh, shapes that we're making. 
So we're going to go with Rock Bassett on this one to see the details. And drop that there for the whole material. For areas that sloop down like this, uh, be persistent with them. It's the better, it, yeah, it will look a lot better once all the smooth edges are gone. So, if you see a detail that you want to come out, don't be afraid to make it come out. Like that. And... Those look a lot more like mountains now. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to rebuild the lighting. Because we're going to want to get as in-depth with this as possible. And also get rid of those pesky previews on the ground. Now rebuilding the lighting is going to take a fair bit of time. So just bear with me on that one. So that's the erosion tool and look how good those mountains are. Just keep pressing in those details where you want them. Thank you guys for watching. Do remember to like, subscribe and share the page. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Follow me on Twitter. I meant follow me on Twitter, not share the page. Voive.